Okay, so here we are. I'm out in the garden because I'm going to be hammering in a minute and I just wanted to finish off what we didn't quite get to last night because the live feed sort of gave up on us and that is putting on the rivets for the um, bag. Okay, Ooh, sorry about the nail varnish. Um, so here's the gold bag i just wanted to explain first the measurements hang on let me bring that back the actual measuring part on the rucksack version because you've got the flap at the back i've actually done on the instructions where to position the eyelets for that one and I've only done four on the front and the back. And on the back, you'll notice there's a slightly bigger gap because of that little flap that's coming up. So I've measured in one and a half inches and then there's two and a half inches between those two. One and a half inch from the side seam again and two and a half inches there. That's on the back. And for the front, I've done one and a half inches, one and a half inches and then four inches. And this is where the uh, tie bit comes for the drawstring okay on the bucket bag because you haven't got that flap coming over I've actually put in six all the way around on this one okay so it's got slightly more and the measurements for that are one inch from the side seam on each side and then there's three inches between the next four okay and that's the same on the front and the back so six on the back six on the front okay and then that should um, allow you to do your tie thing here I've actually put mine closer at the front here but to just make it easier so you don't get confused first time out I would just stick with doing it exactly the same distances front and back so that you're not worrying about what the front and the back of the bag are okay so to the eyelets so in your little pack of eyelets you get this tool here okay and it comes with a part there's a sort of a mummy and a daddy this is the daddy this is the mummy and the mummy pops out probably to do the shopping or the you know a bit of housework or something like that um, and it's got a grooved side and it's then got a flat side okay so the first thing we need to do is make the hole for the eyelet to go in and for that we're going to use the flat side so I'm going to put that down on a piece of wood and do make sure let me come in closer do make sure that you do it on something like this that's why I do it out in the garden on a piece of wood because as you can see the, these are previous eyelets that I have done and you really do not want that pattern well you might I don't know but I doubt it on your kitchen table so I suggest you just find yourself an old bit of wood that you can keep specifically for the purpose of bag making okay so once you've marked your uh, where you actually want your hole to be I'm going to line that up I'm just going to get a pokey thing not to knock the camera here I'm going to line that up with the hole. There we go. If I poke that in, you can see what I've done. Okay, so that is the hole of the tool underneath. And then this bit that's sticking out, I can then sit inside there. And then give it a good few whacks with the hammer. And then when you take it away you'll see that comes out so you've got a nice clean hole there if you've got fabric if you're going through um, on something else for example and if you're going through fabric sometimes with fabric you'll find it won't be quite you might have to go in with scissors and just snip round a few little waifs and strays there but the faux leather does cut really easily actually so now you've got the hole we're going to take our little a piece all these instructions are on the back of your packet. Turn it over so that we've now got this grooved part showing. And the other two bits of the kit are this part, which is going to be on the front, the right side 
of your project and I can now push that through quite happily the hole that I've made turn it over and then that will sit nice and neatly in the little grooved part of that tool the second bit if I can get into the picture is the little washer oh I keep doing this I'm trying them all over the place there we go there's a little little washer here okay and it's got a side with a slight groove in it so I'm now going to put that with the groove down and then I can put my tool back in and then hammer it again and there it is job done okay so I can take that out and look you can see all done okay so that's the front and that's the back if it feels as if anything's sticking up here you can always just lay it down flat and go back in like that okay and then it's absolutely fine but that's it done so that's all I wanted to say and hopefully that should finish you all off